giving you a little storm history as we've watched uh, this particular entity moving across uh, the Great Lakes region and on and through the Northeast. It's been affecting a very large chunk of the country and responsible in one way or another for a tremendous amount of snowfall for many of you. Uh, for some of this, uh, it's lake effect snow. Believe it or not, uh, even as we head south of Boston, it's ocean effect snow because for a time on Thursday, the winds were oriented coming in off the ocean. And the water temperatures obviously are still fairly mild. However, the air temperatures, when well, we're talking about Arctic cold, so we had some significant snow. And this has been a system that's been constantly evolving. We've had an overrunning situation, so a lot of snowfall. But into South Weymouth, Massachusetts, the south of Boston, 17 inches of snowfall. Albany, New York, 9 inches thus far. Binghamton picking up about 10 inches. Boston, 7 inches. Uh, Windsor, Connecticut, 3 inches there and even portions of Rhode Island. And on top of all this, we've had freezing rain and sleet. It's just been very, very tough for travel into parts of the Northeast, whether you're traveling by car or by plane. Very, very difficult, and in some cases, can be quite dangerous. So there's a look at your current scenario. Out to the west, a stormy pattern, but not uh, not the kind of situation that we're dealing with in the east. As a matter of fact, even as we look at the current map, not all of this green is actually reaching the ground. If you were to look at this, you'd think, oh, gee, it's raining in San Francisco. Uh, rain is not being reported around the Bay Area. Uh, there is a chance you'll see some of that for tonight, but for the time being, uh, just a few areas of light rain into Northern California. We go on eastward, and we'll zoom in here, and you'll be able to see the orange on the map, where we're finding, again, uh, the freezing rain in progress. Now this whole time it's been a battle between our cold, our Arctic air that's been down southward and that warmer flow coming in out of the southwest bringing along with it plenty of moisture that's been riding up and over that cold dome of air at the surface and uh, for the time being we've mainly seen the cold air winning the battle. Cold enough to snow across northern New England and portions of southern New England and then where the cold air is more shallow and toward the surface that's where we've seen the freezing rain. Folks from New York to Philly to DC even out toward Pittsburgh know all about that. So that's a look at the current temperatures. Eventually the warmer air will win the battle as we have another area of low pressure that's going to be riding up the coast and eventually we will see a changeover from freezing rain and from snow, whatever type of frozen precipitation you have, to all rain as we extend uh, into areas like D.C., Philly, and New York throughout the day on Friday. But it's going to be a very painstakingly slow process, especially if you've been itching to get outdoors or if you've got some big travel plans. It's just a matter of, well, it's a waiting game to see uh, how soon that warmer air can make its way on in. Uh, there's one perspective. Now let me show you how deep that moisture is. It's coming all the way on up from the deep south here and from the southeast. So even though it's been relatively dry into parts of North Carolina and on into Virginia, you can see how all this moisture is filling on in. You've had a break in the action around Baltimore and around uh, Washington, D.C., but all that's spreading back in and it's going to come back at you again in the form of some freezing rain. There again is a look at your travel weather. We will see the warmer air win the battle here eventually. Maybe even around Long Island and parts of New York City by the morning commute. But keep in mind there's a very thin, thin line there where we're going to find liquid precipitation versus the frozen precipitation. You travel eight, ten miles out into the north and western suburbs of uh, New York City and it's going to be icy. So very, very tricky travel. Same can be said around Philadelphia. South and eastern suburbs may be okay by morning commute, but Philadelphia proper and points north and west of that may not be. There's a look at the snow that's expected as we go into the overnight. Big snow event expected into parts of the Adirondacks on into uh, much of Vermont and New Hampshire. As we trek on down into the southeast, we're going to find maybe